Hello everyone and welcome back to Python lecture. This is another video in which we are going to see how we can draw capital letter G using asterisk in Python. So again without wasting time let us move to the explanation of the code. So again on your screen you can see as all other videos I have drawn this pattern in form of a grid and again I am going to number each and every column and row using numbers right so here are the column and the value of rows right again we are doing it for the matrix sort of uh, structure or a table sort of structure so we will be having for loops that will be nested up till here it will be very clear coming to the conditions right so you can see the first condition is for column is equal to 0 right that means here we will be talking about this particular column right so whenever the value of column is equal to 0 I need stars right I need star over here here and here right so I need stars when the row is equal to 1 and 5 right 1 2 5 okay I do not want in 0th row and I do not want in the 6th row when the column number is 0 right so for that we have mentioned an and condition that the row should range between 0 and 6 right so it should be greater than 0 and less than 6 so we need stars over there so for this particular stars we have our condition over here right Coming to the another condition, it says when row is equal to equal to 0 and row is equal to equal to 6, right? See the figure. What we have when the row is equals to 0 and the row is equal to 6, okay? So, we have stars over here. These are the stars and these are the stars. We are talking about these stars. Clearly, you can see that we do not have any star in column 0, right when row is 0 and 6 we do not have stars over here and here right we do not have stars over here so whenever the row is equals to 0 and 6 we do not have any star in column 0 right here we do not have any star and here we do not have any star so clearly row should be 0 and 6 right and column should be greater than 0, right? Greater than 0, that means ranging from 1, 2, 3 and 4. Pretty much clear? So, here we have tackled these stars also, right? These stars also. Now, coming to this next portion. It is taking care of these stars, right? It is saying when column is equal to 4, I need stars, Right, obviously I need stars when the value of column is equals to 4. But it is clear, it is pretty much clear that I need stars when the value of row, see when the value of row is greater than 2. Right, it is greater than 2. I need stars over here. Clearly the row number is 3, greater than 2. I need star here. Right, the row number is 4, greater than 2. I need star here, row number is 5, greater than 2. Similarly, you can also say it should be greater than 2 and less than 6, right? Because if you want, uh, do not want to overwrite it, right? So, you can do that also. So, this is our third condition, right? And then, at the last, we need these stars, right? These stars. So, for these stars, we can see, clearly see that the row number is 6, sorry the row number is 3 so the row number is 3 very much clear and the column should be greater than 1 right you can see I need star here column number is 2 greater than 1 I need star here column is 3 greater than 1 and in order to avoid this thing to overwrite you can also add a condition that it should be greater than 1 but it should be less than 4 similarly here also if you do not want to overwrite this particular star, you can write over here it should be greater than 2 and column value should, uh, sorry, and the row value should be less than 6. You can also add this to avoid overwriting the situation. 
right so that was the explanation of the if statement and you can be very clear whenever the if statement is true you will be having print the star else you will be printing the spaces and this is print statement is for next line character right and i hope that this explanation of capital letter g is clear to you all and uh, let us go to the python screen and see whether we are getting the same output or not so right guys this is the program for capital letter g and again these are the conditions the first condition is for column number 0 and you can see that it is not drawing any star in the first and the last box of our grid now this is our second condition and our second condition uh, will be for uh, row is equals to 0 and 6 that is the first and the last uh, row but we do not want stars in the first column right then this is our third condition which is drawing stars in column number 4 but it is making sure that the row should always be greater than 2 right then it is for row number 3 where the column value should always be greater than 1 now make uh, uh, consider that this thing that over here i have not consider the overwriting thing but i have explained you the overwriting uh, uh, star condition in the Uh, you know in the slide itself now again this is the print statement for printing the stars this is the print statement for spaces and this is the print statement for changing line now let us run the code and see if we are getting capital g or not yes we are getting the pattern very fine right and uh, i hope that this pattern is pretty much clear to you all but if you want any other program for any other pattern of your choice please mention that pattern in the comment section and i shall be trying to uh, write a program for you for that particular pattern of your choice right so till then stay tuned to my channel don't forget to share and subscribe thank you